Welcome to Corona Colleges. My name is Lisa Porto and I'm the trainer and assessor for community services and disability and aged care. I've been in the community services industry for 20 years and worked with many demographics and I've worked in many spectrums of roles, including counselling, I've done case management, I've been a team leader, diversional therapy, art therapy, and I've had a passion for industry for a long time in helping people. In my experience, I've been working and volunteering in industry, and I've come to the conclusion of how rewarding it is for students to assist other people. They like to work in a caring environment, um, you need people skills, you get to use your communication skills, and at the end of the day, you go home and you know that you've done a good thing. I think that's very important to get out of a job and it's very rewarding. Why I got into teaching is because, again, I love helping people. I love seeing people go on a journey, whether it be a learning journey, whether it be their own personal journey. And it's to me, that's very rewarding, is seeing a person achieve what they would like to do for their goals. And my passion is to assist them and that's why I got into training and assessing. Um, a lot of my students have been people that thought they couldn't do it, they thought that it was all too much, but they had that passion. So eventually what we did is they got placement and then they got a job out of it. And that was rewarding for them and to me as a, personally as a trainer and assessor, that's what I'm here for. How I build my relationships with students is a phone call, Zoom meetings, messages, um, quite often we do tutoring online, question times online, meet and greet the trainer. There's so many opportunities for students to interact with me and we also do case studies online where you can learn, we study together and we learn a lot of skills and knowledge just by sharing each other's knowledge. So there's a lot of interaction and I'm very aware that students can feel quite lonely. Being at home, sitting there by themselves with a the computer um, can be lacking motivation. So I'm fully aware that I need to support my students in the way that suits them. And motivating students, um, again, it's personal interaction with the student. Um, I enjoy reaching out to my students, letting them, you know, if they're feeling a little bit down or they're feeling like overwhelmed with their study, we come together and we make a study plan. Or we work out how study will fit into their lives because people are very busy and that's one factor that I think they need to consider is how long they can study each day, when's the best time for them. Some people are morning, some people are night. And it's all about communicating with my students. I always say to my students that you can do it and to let me know if there is any reason you're feeling that you need assistance or you need a phone call just to motivate you. My passion is for the industry and for helping students. So I'm here for you and please never hesitate to reach out. And all I can say is start the journey and you'll get there.